Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Relevant Experience Heroes. Today, I am joined by none other than Tammy Willie of Jacob. She's the knowledge manager there. We're going to dive into some topics around KCS and knowledge management best practices and really give you an understanding of, of what we're going to cover um, later on in the webinar that Tammy is going to dive into how she was able to accomplish all of these things. Um, thanks for being here today, Tammy. Yeah, thanks for having me. What I'd like to start with and to let everyone know is what's been your number one favorite accomplishment within the KM ecosystem over this last year? I'd have to say it's the roots that we've been able to establish uh, around our knowledge management transformation program. Um, we are a really diverse company uh, made up of, of a lot of acquisitions. Um, so a lot of different cultures and personalities coming with all of that. And so really trying to establish the foundation for knowledge management and to create the awareness of what good knowledge management really is and how important it is to the business, regardless of whether or not you're in a corporate function or if you are in one of our lines of business or you're developing a new solution for our client, um, a good knowledge management foundation is key. And like I said, really trying to get that that foundation set has been, uh, has been really uh, rewarding to see. How big is Jacobs? What is Jacobs Engineering? Yeah, so, so uh, by by industry trade, we're an engineering and construction company. Uh, we're actually um, starting to position ourselves as more of a solutions provider. So we, we have our client base and it's not just engineering and construction, but what other solutions can we provide? Uh, we're, we also like to consider ourselves a very innovative company. Uh, so creating a lot of new uh, innovations around the different areas that, that we work in. Uh, we're a 55,000 employee company we operate in about 40 different countries so we're we're very large and very diverse and uh, trying to bring everybody together into to sort of a common way of working um, not just from from company uh, diversity but cultural diversity as well um, has been a, a a big thing that we've been trying to focus on and how does kcs play into all of that uh, it's really given us a, a way to focus on what knowledge management is um, really give us a, a way to be scalable and agile in the way that we work across all of these different functions and cultures and areas. Um, it helped us strengthen our business case for why a knowledge management transformation program uh, was needed within Jacobs and, and what it what benefits it could really provide in trying to take it not just from one uh, one area. So we started in sales, but we're expanding across all of Jacobs and KCS has really given us, like I said, the, the, the business value for what that, that would mean. And, uh, having something like KCS really helped us, um, like establish our business case to our senior leaders as to why that was important. You know, that's, it's funny because you said it started in sales. And when I talk about KCS, I've pretty much never heard that, right? It always starts <laughs> in support, then it yeah. moves to success. It started in sales. Why did it start in sales for you? Um, sales is a big one because it's um, it's a lot of different stakeholders that need content from pretty much everywhere in the company. And so we really um, have had to take KCS from a support and service function and adapt it to what it means for a professional services organization like ours. And um, you know, we'll talk about this uh, in the presentation, but it's a lot of the same principles. We just have to adapt them and apply them in a slightly different way. And like I said, sales is really interesting because we need HR information, we need finance information, we need experience, project delivery. Um, what is contracts doing so that we can answer, you know, fit the, the questions that our, our clients are asking in, in our bids. And uh, so we, we took a look at a domain map actually as to what we needed and sales actually creates a very small amount of content. It's what the other functions in the company create that we have to get. And, and the challenge with knowledge management then is how do we get that group to have good knowledge management and then share their content with sales so that it can be leveraged. And then how do we have that, that feedback loop to say, hey, you know what? Our client really didn't you know, like that response or they love this response. Let's use it more often. Sales always needs more content and they always need fresh content. They always, and the hardest thing, and the reason why Coveo exists in a lot of ecosystems is findability. 
and being able to find it and then have that evolve. And I, I see how these blends so well together to help really empower your sales agents to have everything at their fingertips and know that it's evolving as clients' needs evolve. But to tease people a little more about what you're gonna get into your webinar, right? Is what was one of the biggest hurdles that you had to uh, overcome to accomplish this? I'd say people's willing to change um, because we've, you know, been a fast paced company to acquire or we've we've done things that works for sales function. HR does things that works for HR's function, right? Um, people have been reluctant to change their way or to change their uh, siloed repositories, for example. How do we get kind of on the same page? Um, so again, part of it, not again. So part of our transformation is getting them to understand what the benefits are and what the value is of trying to follow sort of a, a, a knowledge management framework and to leverage tools like Coveo, uh, where we can say, hey, you can keep it in your repository, but let's set it up this way so that we can leverage Coveo to have a, an interface where I can go in and I can find this information. And yes, it's this was created and managed by sales. This is created and managed by HR, but we're able to bring it together uh, through something like Coveo. That's amazing with multiple stakeholders. So you heard it here from Tammy. She's going to dive into much more depth about the change management and what they've been able to accomplish and the road to success that they've had and are still on. This is a journey and it's constantly changing Absolutely. and evolving. And so it's never really done, right? But they're on a maturity mm -hmm. model internally. You have a sales center of excellence. That tells you enough right there. Um, so make sure you tune in, watch the webinar. Tammy is full of incredible information. And thank you so much for joining us today and sharing this little uh, tidbit before you dive into the deeper webinar that I, I know you're gonna have. Thanks, Ari, I appreciate it.